There once was a time when the nations of the world attempted to set aside their differences and live in peace. The orbital elevator Trinity was to be a symbol of this cooperation between the UCS, OCU, and DHZ. But this period of peace was not to last. Trinity was left unfinished, a testimony to failed dreams and unfulfilled promises. Now, the structure stands derelict in a sea of sand, a symbol of mankind's distrust and division, its purpose long forgotten. It is now only known by one name, Babel. Not many were surprised when Cornelius Warner revealed to the world that Babel was, in fact, the headquarters of the Sword of Democles, a coalition of UCS, OCU, and DHZ forces once again under the command of General Godwin Mosley is sent to deal with Cornelius and the Sword of Democles. To all OCU, UCS, and Dahan Zong troops, this is Brigadier General Godwin Mosley. We faced each other on battlefields in the past, but today we stand together. Yesterday, we were adversaries. I do not ask you to forget that, but today, we are comrades. I ask you to remember this day, because today we stand united against a common foe. Today we stand shoulder to shoulder, regardless of race, religion, or allegiance. And no matter where we stand tomorrow, I ask you to never forget this moment. Right here. And right now. Hello everyone, this is me, John of Order 3, welcoming you back with... I'm a rash of Order 3, I've returned once again, I literally have no idea what's going on right now. Well, what's going on is we're taking out one of the fastest ones as we can possibly make. He's quite pretty, I like him. He is, this is Fushbot. Say Fushbot. hello, Fushbot. Because that's how fast we're going. Fush speed. So we're using this Turan with its 1.17 mobility. It's faster than any other torso we have access to at the moment. Pretty good power, pretty good, well, average armor, I suppose. Uh, we're using the Usk arm because it's chunky. Look at that. That's quite chunky. I like it's, that. It's the chunkiest arm with, like, the most it's, armor for the It's the as big as your freaking get. torso. Yes. For accuracy, we're using the Zephyr E because it has 100 accuracy, pretty good armor, and uh, we only really need the 100 accuracy on that arm because we've only got one gun. We're also using the K... K -Hey? But anyway, 12.5 skate. There's one other set of legs which are just as good at skating, and that's the Turan. But they're heavier, because they have more armor. Ah. So we're using the Kehe to like save on some weight. I kind of like the, the Kehe legs, though. They're, they're quite pretty. Mm. You know, mm, that, very much so. that whole sort of um, structure thing that they've got going on is quite cool. We're using the Cemetery C assault machine gun. It's uh, a pretty slow, but pretty damaging, you know. That should do us some good. Yeah, it's it's not great. Have have you done this uh, mission previously? I have. See, the real damage was going to be coming from the anacondas because everyone loves Gatling guns. We're taking two of them. Oh god. Oh, it's good. And of course, agility backpack because fushbot, fushbot. Okay, I think I understand what's going on. Yeah. There. Oh dear. How long is this video going to be? Uh, this video. 14 minutes with cutscenes. Well, we're, we're taking um, our old standby, which is Inferno Shot 2. And uh, this this can we only need, end well. We need a secret weapon. Alright? Maximum now, when, when you're going fast, not quite, you need to make sure if they see you, they won't see anything else. Okay. Say hello. To glossy fush. Oh god. Look how oh, shiny god. we are, man. That's Ooh. hurting my eyes. That's the ah. point. That's the point. What the hell? Fush the hell. <laughs> also, I, I was just like running through the decals because because I could and I was going, Oh, which do I do I want to attach a decal? I mean loads of stars maybe. Mm. Uh, represent the unity that we've yeah. currently got going on. Ooh. Is that a pumpkin? That's a pumpkin. Oh, man. I don't remember it being there, but hey, it's Halloween. Hey! There we go. Happy it's, Halloween, this is our peeps. Halloween episode. So, uh, Fushbot Pumpkin Man. <laughs> with 
almost maximum glossiness. Let's go. Don't worry, there's no cutscenes. Oh, right. It just sends you straight in. Always confuses me. Yeah, I was kind of expecting at least a little bit of lead in. On... That's why I went silent. I was kind of expecting a cutscene to, to show up. Yeah, uh, not so much. Weirdly enough, the previous cutscene, um, the, the one that opens Act 5, yeah, uh, that happens at the end of Act 4. You don't get it at the start of Act 5. Well, that strikes me as utterly retarded. Mm. Now, I want you to watch the radar for these guys, because it's very important that you Incoming notice something that I noticed this, this update. Okay. In that UCS has developed teleport technology. I'm watching the green arrow. I'm watching the green okay. arrow. They're not going to move, but it's important. Keep your eye on them for later. On the on radar, them. or on, on the yeah, on the radar. You'll, you'll, it's most obvious on the radar. Because I'm want, just wondering if I'm going to miss anything else in the video. Uh, it's a turret section, you know. So, and they're they, they, they gone. Disappear. Mm, they, they weren't going anywhere, you know. No, they were they were kind of chilling out in the tunnel. Yeah, yeah they're just like, well, it's dangerous out there. Like, you know, we got fucking Dylan Ramsey just firing missiles and bullets at this bridge. I don't even cross until he's gone. Who gave Dylan Ramsey more Gatling guns? They should have allowed us Gatling gun like those Gatling guns and our Gatling guns, and I would have just gone with that for the entire mission. Hold on! Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Oh, it would have been. I get a bit confused here. Because uh, I'm I'm so busy like you know just firing everything like where am I shooting? Oh these fuckers! These fuckers who are off screen and are shooting me. Look that, look how yeah, long that's... it takes for them to like get into my and then I'm like oh just just one gun. I'm like what? Oh shit! I can't hit them. Uh hey! I thought you were supposed to be good at this game, John. It's it's been a while. Now the tank is like right there, but I don't notice it until it's too late. Oh and no! And then it disappears oh, mysteriously. Hey. Those guys have reappeared. Yes, yes, they have on a mountain range. I'm pretty sure they shouldn't have been able to get to. <laughs> also, I can't hit these guys yet because it's not letting me go any further than this. So, like, yeah, there's enemies there, but you're not allowed to shoot them. I have you to splash admit, damage. I really do kind of like this level design after all the greys we've been experiencing so far. Oh, I, I admit, the colours are quite nice. And this is a completely unironic statement. After all the greys, it's lovely to see a level that's so brown. Okay, now this is it. Keep your eye on the radar. Okay. Okay. No, they're not. They're not moving. Not going for the tunnel or anything. I'm like, oh, guys, guys, come on. All oh, right, fine, fine, whatever. <laughs> Suddenly, they were activating their warp drives. <laughs> they decided I don't want to go to that 20 feet. And it's certainly not just because we haven't, like, made level for them to go through. I really don't know how to take that. No. Take them out! But it's fine. I mean, watch the, the makeup for it. They're like, well, this time... Watch, Dylan. Watch. Boop. <laughs> just knock it over. I'm like, oh, I quite like that. Let's make sure he didn't do this. Full salvo. Nice way it goes. Very nice. Mm. Two lone tanks. Two, yeah. And they still hit us because I, I was too busy trying to like do pistol shots. <laughs> You're too busy trying to snipe with the Gatling yeah. gun. Sorry, I, I take a second, like have a look around here because I didn't when I was doing the sensors. I'm like, oh look, I'm what? actually genuinely serious. I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed with the look of this level. Oh yeah, this area is Weapons free. I admit the desert was a nice choice, and they obviously they tried to get away from like the greys and the browns. And yeah, they had Huffman Island. Previously, with its with its bright vibrant green, but and and it's uh, quite pretty blue. But then we we reverted to the urban grey. Actually, no, we went straight to the Arctic from Huffman oh, yeah. Island. Oh, true, true. So we, we went like nice whites and blues, you know. So it's even then though, I really find the Arctic levels very bland in and of themselves because a lot of it does take place in grey environments. Absolutely, but it was. At least it's not entirely brown. True. The area so we can land. Even then, these are some quite vibrant browns. I can't believe we're talking about how vibrant the browns are. It's front mission evolved. We've got nothing to say anymore. <laughs> it's reached that stage, guys. <laughs> Okay, guys. I don't think I'm go. ready for Fushbot. Fushbot. Holy! Look at him go! 
I want you to notice how long it takes us to run out of energy. <laughs> we just keep going. Jesus Christ. And then we go back and go. We've still got some left. Reinforcements on the way! I... Whoosh, whoosh, I'm gonna leave him to live. I'm gonna take it as other friend. There we go. Okay, now I'll go it's around like for him. It's they can't even react to you. I wish that kind of the entire game was as difficult to control as this. <laughs> it was, it was really difficult to control being that fast. To be fair, this is what I think people on edge are actually supposed to be like in, in terms of how, how fast they move. Oh, absolutely. Never mind this glowy blue floaty bullshit, just like this insanely fast thing that's I've so... I've one guy and this sniper one's like, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna turn really slowly to watch him come up. Now I've decided I'm gonna have a little fun with this guy. To be fair, your left arm is on fire. It's fine, it can take it. Come on, come on, figure it out. Yeah, one more you want me, bro. Oh, you don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. Everyone's dead. Interestingly enough, though, despite how fast we are, we still have the same distance of boost. Yeah, I think that's a pre-programmed um, maximum. Unfortunately so. So now I'm just, like, trying to pick up ammo while I'm full and wondering why... Oh, yeah. But it said, oh yeah, sorry, too much. I found some goals or something. Okay. But at the time I thought, oh, I guess that means I picked it up. Despite the fact it's still there. <laughs> Mind blown. Fair news. Mm. Maybe Dylan Ramsey's finally beginning to appreciate his psychopathic mass slaughter of everything that he encounters. Maybe, maybe he's just having fun for once. Can you imagine what Dylan Ramsey was like as a child? He'd see like a toy, someone, other kid's toy robot. He'd immediately have to go over there and just smash it and destroy it completely. That, that's... Leave it in wreckage. I don't think Dylan Ramsey ha had a childhood. I think he was grown. In a vat. In a vat. <laughs> <laughs> we must make the ultimate child soldier as bland as possible. Alright, so last time I had some trouble with the snipers. Not this time. Again, I find the whole okay. thing where it's like you're part of this mass assault really quite disappointing because the most we've seen out of that has been two guys with teleportation yeah, abilities. Yeah, two, two teleporting wanzers and us. I'm like, where is our shooting? Is he shooting some more while I'm like not there? Hamilton? Is that you? Could it be? I, I fall off. I was going to keep sniping him at this. But then I noticed how little damage I you numb that I've done. Yeah. I was like, alright, fine. I'm, I'm kind of like not seeing much worth or use for the, uh, for the burst gun. It's it's pretty good for like adding a little bit of damage and it's got some nice accuracy to it. Yeah, I can see. By being the way, it's still a brawl. <laughs> it's still like falling about. Like, all right, okay. And then I decide you can't hit me if I'm jumping. <laughs> okay. So so with now the bunny hopping a... rabbit wonder. Has this turned into a quick deathmatch game? Yes. Uh, I have to. That's it though. That's the level. Wow. Really? Yeah. It's... Do we have a boss video? Well, funny you should mention that. We do, in fact, have a boss video. In Fushbot. In Fushbot. How are you going to show off the boss if it's dead in like 10 seconds? Oh, we need Fushbot. By the way, so here's where uh, like an, one of the emblems is, and this is what you can see from where you pick up the emblem. Wow. Lazy game design. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to like all about because I'm like well this video didn't take nearly long enough so I'm gonna waste everyone's time by just picking up random shit and like going look how fast I am if you haven't guessed yet I go fast I'll be honest like the whole calling it Tower of Babel and it's pronounced fucking Babel god damn it narrator man um is it, it just seems like Christian imagery for the sake of Christian imagery myth for the sake of myth it doesn't really add anything to it. I mean, we've already got the, the Sword of Democles thrown in there. For as far as I can tell, very little reason. It actually makes a fair amount of sense. Like, personally, I can see why they called it. I'm, I'm just, like, seeing how many of these I can destroy before my energy run out. Pretty much all of them but two. All of them but two. Um, it actually makes a fair amount of sense. Okay. Like, but I can't tell you why yet. Ah, uh... Spoilers. Yeah. Yeah. There, there'll be a myth and legend post. Anyway, we're ready for this boss? We're ready? We're ready? Let's rock and roll. Bye. 